Yo, 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 you say what? Hi guys, welcome back to You Say What. Firstly, thanks everyone for that have subscribed. If you haven't, please uh, subscribe and like all the video and it will be much appreciated. So I hope you, you like today's topic. And let's see what we have today's topics is. Today's topics, weekend Premier League's results. Arsenal predicted lineup against Liverpool, transfer out, transfer in, other transfer news, and you say what? As we've got loads to go through, let's start quickly. So, Brighton's and Hovi Albion 2 versus Manchester United 3. So, well, what can I say? Manu, another penalty that saved Manu to lose the game. That's all I can say. How many times did Manu need penalties to win a game? I mean, they did not play a great game at all. I think Brighton's has actually played much, much better. And Matt Brighton's is, do deserve the win more than Manchester United. What can I say? Uh, Crystal Palace won. Everton's 2. Really good game for Everton. Uh, really good start for them as well this season. Um, they already have three wins in a row. Been a long time as well. West Brom, Albion three, Chelsea three. What a game! What a game! What a game! Was thinking that Chelsea is going to lose this game uh, because you know West Brom already saw three goals in the first half but it was a definitely different games on the second half when Chelsea came back on the second half they really played well and committed you know what a shame for West Brom they could have won that game so next one is Burnley nil Southampton won so Southampton won their game and Sheffield United nil, Lee United won. So second win for Leeds United, which is not a, a, you know, how can I say? There's not a big score this time. They actually just beaten Sheffield United one goal. So it seems like you know they improved their defence, not going forward too much. So well done, Lee. Next game. Tottenham won, Newcastle won. As an Arsenal fan, totally happy and laughing about it. But definitely think it is not right to be given that penalty. Um, you know, Eric Dyer didn't even know about that. You know, it, he doesn't even know about the ball hit his hand. It's not even deliberate hitting his hand. So I definitely think, you know, that is is not right. Um, even as an Arsenal fan, well, we're lo uh, happy to see Tottenham draw or even lo lose their game. But, you know, losing that way is, is not really great. Um, you know, even, you know, if Arsenal do get that, I would be angry as well. Um, I think that the handball rules uh, need to change. This seems... This incident seems like the ball to hand, you know. It's not like he want to hit his hands. Um, to my thinking, it should not be given. Um, as I said, you know, it's not deliberate. So it is a bit worrying for defenders if, if these rules do not change. Um, you know, people will try to header the ball into someone's arm or even kick a ball to someone's arm so it is definitely definitely need to be changed need to be sorted they have to bring back said it's hand not it's not ball to hand it's not hand to ball you know that kind of rules you know back on that um so unlucky tom them so next one is man city two Leicester City 5. What a shocking loss for Man City. Uh, really well played for Leicester City. 
Uh, but it is definitely a shocking that Man City actually uh, lost to Leicester City five goals to two. Um, but did Pep did say that you know the first penalty you know kind of damaging them not, but you know they got two penalty not just one. So it's kind of it is shocking. Um, West Ham United four, uh, Wolverhampton nil. Good game for West Ham. Thought that Wolves was supposed to give a good game with West Ham, and probably everyone thought Wolves should have, you know, won this game. But it seems like um, West Ham turn out turn up this game. Uh, show this, show this is a Premier League, and anything can happen. So it is, it is shocking that you know West Ham have won as well. I mean, they didn't play bad against Arsenal, to be honest. So, you know, they are not bad at all this game. Next one, my prediction. So my Arsenal predictions lineup versus Liverpool tonight at 8 o'clock. Um, I would say Leno will be in goal. Gabriel on the left centre back. Uh, Lu David Luiz will be the central centre back. And Rob Holding will be the right centre back. Um, on our left wing back, I would put Kieran Tini, uh, which is should be good for the game today. Xhaka uh, in the midfield left side, and Elmeni will be on also on the on the right hand side centre midfield, and then our right wing back will be Berrerin. I think some. People might think that how come Ainsley Maitland Niles is not on my lineup? Um, you know he probably will be, uh, depends. But then he didn't really play play that well uh, on against um, Leicester, and also I think because David Luiz is better, um, and also Gabriel is in the team now, uh, so I think Kirantini would not be a left centre back. Uh, it will be Gabriel, and then Louise, uh, because he's getting he's, he's a good leadership in the defense, and he can help Gabriel on the central in the back line. So that will help a lot. So that's why Ainsley Maitland Niles might not be in this team. Um, so our right winger forward will be William, and our centre forward will be Lacazette. And also, our main captain it will be a Bamingang on the left hand winger. So, this will be my lineup for tonight's game. So, let's go to the next one transfer out rumor. Uh, so, look like Lucas Torreira is still ongoing with Alcra Madrid as, as Arsenal wanted permanent deal, but Alcra Madrid just want a loan deal. Also, that Torreira. Torino have withdrawn their offer as they want a loan deal only. Will this deal happen? Will Thomas Partey be Arsenal player this year? Do you guys want Thomas Partey come to Arsenal this season? Let me know your thought and your comment below. But Simone, uh, Alcon Madrid manager, did say until October the 4th, we will not be calm. There are always possibility for movement option for someone to leave, leave or other to arrive. So, is that a hint from um, you know Simone uh, regarding you know Alka Madrid defensive midfielder Thomas Partey will be moving out from the squad? You know, coming to Arsenal. So we don't know. So we have to wait and see by the end of the transfer window. Mustafa has reported agree a contract at Lazio. So hopefully this will raise funds to buy the players that Arsenal won. So hopefully that will help us as well on that. Because we do need um, some player to move out from the, our first team squad. Okay, so next one. So, Hossim or Awa. So, deal are close to be agreed. 
Arsenal have reported that they are expected to submit a second offer worth 36.5 million plus a 9 million adds on fee. So that is a close asking price for Leon. Um, hopefully that they will get an agreement on this. Uh, not far from the closing window, so we need to act quick and Leon have to agree quick as well. So finger crossed, so we have to wait and see that we will get Cosimo Ward to be an Arsenal player. Um, as you know, that on report also say that Aubameyang, um, you know, reported that uh, when he was um, in doing an interview uh, saying that, you know, he kind of would like to, you know, this is what um, Aubameyang uh, kind of said when he was having the interview. Of course we are favour uh, of signing him. I will not hide it, even he, if he is at Lyon. So even Aubameyang, um, you know, would be happy if he joined us this season. So um, we just have to wait and see. Hopefully this is a hint from Aubameyang as a captain to tell us that, you know, don't worry too much. You know, he will be coming to Arsenal. So we will we'll have to wait and see on the transfer windows uh, end. So let's see how it goes. Okay, other transfer news. So FC Porter defender Alex Tellis have found have found a per and personal t terms agreement and agent commission with Man Manu, but Manu still in talk with FC Porter. My own thought is, as Alex Teswell is actually a left back, but my thought is that Manu need a centre back. You know, the way they're going at the moment, you know, letting quite a few goals, you know, even against West Brom. So, you know, man, you need a centre back. So they should go and get a centre back. Just to let you know, Arsenal have a few centre back that is available to get to buy. So, you know, man, you, Arsenal always have, have a, you know, some deal going on all the time so why not this time you know on that so look like Man City have found another centre back instead of Kalabali as Man City have agreed a swap deal with Benfica Ruben Diaz swap with Nicolas Otimendi so now what is going to happen to Strokati's uh, arsenal as we know that Napoli only interested in Strokatis if Kabali goes to Man City. So it seems like Kabali is staying at Napoli. What's going to happen to Strokatis? Will Socrates stay at Arsenal or he will move on to another club? You know, there are other interested clubs in Saudi Arabia and Quarter and Rumour also say that they, they are Premier League club that is looking for him. Well, you know, need a Premier League centre-back, known the game, you know, solid at the back as well. Man U probably need him. Think about it, Man U. Think about it. Please let me know your thought and where should he goes. Leave the comment below about Strokatis. You say what? As you as tonight games Liverpool against Liver, um, Arsenal, report says that Allison and Thiago might not be in the match as both have missed training over the weekend. Well, I don't know about this. Sometimes you never know. It could be a trick from Liverpool to just think. Let put out a news that oh. Alisson and Thiago might not be playing. So Arsenal might think, oh, yeah, great. You know, something to think about. Look, people might think all the gra that great, that's great news for Arsenal fans and, you know, Arsenal. But to me, it's no different. As you know, that 
it is a team support um it's a team game you know not just one or two players and also Liverpool did not just win the Premier League because of Alisson or Thiago so Liverpool will be still hard to beat and they still have a squad that won the Premier League so Arsenal still need to be cautious of the front three Mane, Firmino and Salah I would like both of them play because I really want to know where is Arsenal is at at the moment and do and also I do not want excuse from Liverpool fan saying oh because we didn't have Alisson in goal and Thiago not playing that's why Arsenal win so you know that's why I, I, I prefer them to play and if we beat them they got no excuse at all so that's what I would love that's to happen. That's it from You Say What. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, hit the like button and share the video. So peace out. This is all from me.